Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out 2021 Topps Finest Baseball. Eight box, full case, right over here. Random team break number one, where one spot gets you two teams in an eight box break of 2021 Finest Baseball. So, big thanks to everybody who got into the action. Let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Now, um, Jason Hillman ended up with the last spot in Mojo. That's why he has a star next to his name. So he's got two of those spots. And the people with the rooftops next to your names, that means you won a spot in the filler that we did. So congrats again to you and thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. All 30 baseball teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. For nine, we've got Sean Hughes down to Joe Locus. Four and a five. Once again, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got the Nationals down to the Blue Jays. All right, Sean Hughes with a spot that you won. Nationals, Joe with the Astros, Jason with the Pirates, Eugene with the Tigers, Carl with the Cubs, Eugene with the A's, Steve with the Red Sox, Travis with the Padres, Faith with the Mariners, Levi with the White Sox, Joe with the Yankees, Levi with the Rays, Carl with the Diamondbacks, Joe with the Phillies and the Giants, Carl with the O's. Joe with the Brew Crew, Faith with the Royals, Jason with the Tribe, Michael with the Halos, Carl with my Dodgers, Steve with the Cardinals, Robert with the Rocks, Joe with the Red Legs, Travis with the Rangers, Joe with the Mets, Sean with the Marlins, Robert with the Twins, Michael with the Braves, and Joe with the Toronto Blue Jays. Let's sort by column B, alphabetically by team. And we're gonna pause the video and see if there's gonna be any trades. There'll be a little trade window. So when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done on a Sunday. Thanks for spending some Sunday night, some of your Sunday night with me. I appreciate that. Thanks, everybody. So once again, if you have that little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in that filler. That's in a separate video. That was that Topps Baseball Update box. Here's the full case of Finest. This is 21 Finest Baseball right there. Two, four, six, and eight. So just like that Bowman Chrome baseball break we did earlier, there's two autos per master box. And away we go. Good luck. Well, my Dodgers lost in walk-off fashion again. Walked off two nights in a row. Pretty crazy, but coming back home to LA, we'll see how that works out. Tomorrow, we've got Red Sox. Uh, Red Sox are at home. They stole one in Houston, and now they're playing a few games in Boston. What's everyone's, uh, let, I wanna take everyone's temperature on that game. Red Sox getting a lot of a lot of uh, timely hitting. Their offense is really really doing their part. Bullpen's a little still, still a little nerve wracking. 
I think I feel like they kind of, I mean, they were ahead by a lot, but they were kind of letting the Astros back in it in game two, but but they, they finished the game off just in time. We got uh, Eduardo Rodriguez starting for the Red Sox and Urquidy starting for the Astros. That should be a good game. We'll be here tomorrow. Breaking baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com and watching baseball. Here's our first autograph. Nick Solak for the Rangers. Travis won that spot. Tried to trade. Couldn't trade Mojo. And Luis Garcia, Aqua, 93 out of 199. That's for Sean. And the Nats will have all of those top loaded before they get sorted. We'll save one of these Cabrian Hayes too to, for, to be top loaded. These will, rookies will obviously ship. All cards ship, don't they? Do they not? Mm, all cards ship, yeah. So you'd be getting all those. Anyway, we want to see those Cabrian Hayes like parallels. Even some autos, that'd be nice. We got Evan White. Aqua Shimmer to 175 for the M's. Faith with the Mariners. Yeah, that's the tricky. I agree with you, Michael. That the. Uh... Ooh, wow. Hold that thought. Finest moments, one of one, on card auto, Mr. October, here on October 17th, 2021, Reggie Jackson. Joe Locus with the New York Yankees. Wow. He bought a spot straight up. Got randomized the Yankees and ends up with the one of one Reggie Jackson finest moment super fractor. Just marinating in this finest case for however long. For days. This is on the site for a little bit. You're welcome, Joe Locus. Thanks for getting in. Scared money don't make money. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice hit. We got Strasburg Speckle right here as well. The number's kind of hard to see. There it is. There it is. Right there. To uh, 125. It's for Sean Hughes and the Nats. And there's a Mike Trout die cut for Michael M. Mike with Mike. To 250, J.D. Martinez. Yeah, the red, going back to the Red Sox, they certainly have the hitting, like J.D. Martinez, which goes to Steve Wright and the Red Sox. But, yeah, can the pitching catch up? That's going to be the difficult part. Is that a case hit? Chad saying this is the case hit. Nice, Michael. Yeah, you can see the black gold in the background of that die cut. That's really sharp. It's probably better to ship it in the top loader, especially since I already put it in there. There's almost no movement. There's virtually zero movement of that card inside the top loader, whereas in a one-touch, you know, there is movement in there. It could rattle around a little bit. If you just want a one-touch, though, you could probably figure something out if you hit the support button. But yeah, I mean, if the card arrives to comes to us, like if it if there's a 
one touch. That's it's, if it's cards already one touch in a break, then we won't mess around with that. We'll just leave it as is. But we'll try not to actively go one way or the other on it. Yeah, that's a, that is a banger. It's pretty nice. I thought I spotted a little bit of gold, but I thought my eyes were deceiving me. So I didn't I didn't say anything. But yeah, that's pretty sharp. The super factor pattern is always is always really nice as well. And this break, this was marinating for a little bit. You know, I, I think I, I, took, I took my, I went into my weekend without this being filled. So this was probably an out of five a few days ago and marinated a little bit and turned into a one of one. If we waited any longer, this would have spoiled. It would have turned into something else. But thankfully it didn't. We're bringing these breaks to you from farm to table, ladies and gentlemen. There's Brady Singer, 49 out of 150. Royals auto going to Faith, who won the Royals in the filler. Uh, 52 out of 99, that's Josh going to Sean. And there's the, so there's the regular mic trout. You can tell, the, see, tell there's no like black and yellow in the background. Still nice though, Michael and the Halos. Hopefully Mr. Trout comes back strong. Next year. There's Wilson Contreras. I don't know why that was flipped around. Is that because it's a variation maybe? And we got Tristan McKenzie. He's got that sort of Pedro Martinez lankiness, doesn't he? Cleveland. Jason, last spot mojo strikes again. Cleveland, this is for you. He had a nice season too. There's Rafael Devers for the Red Sox, 30 out of 125. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was there over the weekend because the case knows that I'm the one that pulls the big hits. Yeah, possibly. The case somehow knew. There's Kyle Lewis to 250 for Faith and the M's. 222 out of 250. Oh, Chad's saying the variations have four dots in the upper corner. This upper corner? This upper corner? Well, all cards ship, so you'll see it. <laughs> yeah, Michael, that's, as a Dodger fan, that's the only consolation that I have for Austin Riley having the walk-off yesterday and just hitting well in general. That's hashtag good for the hobby. Yeah, he had a really, really great regular season. Another two autos here in this break, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for getting in. Yeah, I was like, Chad. Chad was like, I opened a lot of this one when this came out. Chad knows. He's all over this. 
All right. Let's go. Here's Anderson Tejada. Another Rangers autograph for Travis. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. And there's Glaber Torres, 70 out of 150 for the Bronx Bombers. Joe. Got Matt Chapman to 250. That'll be for Eugene and Oakland. And we got a Sixto Sanchez. 57 out of 99. That wave and the color back color in the background. That looks really sharp. Nice rookie auto for the fish. Sean Hughes. You know, if you look at that Marlins starting pitching staff, it's going to be pretty nice once they start marinating a little bit. Was the Casey Mize a variation? Oh, I see, I see. So they've got those four orange dots right there. Nice, so that goes to Eugene and the uh, the uh, Tigers. Nice, he's pretty good too. And there's Davey Garcia to 300. Joe Locus in the Yankees. So if you if you got a, if you bought into a lot of finest with us, it might be worth going back and looking through the cards and seeing if you have any variations. There you go. The nice refractor, Cabrian Hayes, for the Pirates. Jason Hillman, got the Buckos. Yeah, Rex, that's a good that's a good project. Look look through your stuff. Might have some uh, some Austin Rileys hiding in your collection somewhere. There's Mookie Betts to 25. Nice. 13 out of 25 orange parallel. He's been hitting the ball pretty well. Some of the guys behind him not hitting the ball. All right, next box. Oh, there's one per master box? I see, okay, so. Well, I'll look through those later, but going forward, I'll look for them. All cards ship, so you'll get everything, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I don't know if Austin Riley cards have gone up. I, I would imagine yes. I mean, I don't know how much they've gone up in the last like month, but I'm sure from the beginning of the season to this point now, I'm sure it's gone up significantly. Because I, I can't imagine it was at too, too high of a starting point in the first place. So it had a lot of room to grow. That's the thing with collecting baseball. It's just, uh, there's a, no, I appreciate that, Chad. I, I, like, I'll, now that I know, I'll have that in my brain. Hopefully. I can spot those next time. But yeah, that's the thing with baseball collecting is often, there, there's sometimes it requires, a lot of times I feel like it requires a little bit of patience, you know? Austin Riley was hot his rookie year, was down subsequent year, and then is hot again this year. So it requires a little bit of patience. If you're collecting like Bowman, you got to be... There's Dylan Carlson, another tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. So with like, if you're collecting Bowman stuff, you got to be patient and wait for them to hopefully make it to the majors and be good and blah, 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 blah. There's Dylan Carlson, one of the, uh, one of the Cardinals' top prospects. Now getting, getting a lot of playing time. Steve Wright won that spot and tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Here's Aaron Nola, 62 out of 199. 
That's for the fills. That'll be for Joe. And we've got a Buster Posey. Aqua Shimmer to 175 for the Giants. Joe Locus with my rivals. And there's Evan White, rookie auto for Faith and the M's. There you go, Faith. And there's Jacob deGrom to 150, to 50, 27 out of 50. Kind of hard to see that in that with that pattern there. That'll be for the Metropolitan. That's going to go to Joe. Alec Baum to 250 for the Phillies. And so that must be the, the variation, which is pretty nice, the Cabrian Hayes. How much of a price difference does this variation make, Chad? Between a base Cabrian Hayes and a... And a variation could Brian Hayes. Yeah, that's true. Kevin makes a good makes a good point. He's saying, unfortunately, Austin Riley plays on a team with a young megastar like Ronald Acuna Jr. and even Albies, you know. So, but yeah, I've got to imagine that that. Again, like I said, from, from the beginning of the season to now, you know, there has to have been some significant ROI on that. Because I'm sure it wasn't really starting at the highest of points at the beginning of the season. All right, um, we are halfway through this eight box break. We've got four boxes down, four more to go. Looks like about another 15, 20 minutes left in the break. Thanks everyone for getting in. Uh, we don't have any more finest, so there, I wasn't able to load up another one, but I'm sure we'll find some other base. Well, in fact, uh, maybe we won't. There, there's a Topps Five Star Baseball and Bowman Transcendent Baseball are dropping on Wednesday. So maybe Monday or Monday will probably work on the uh, probably work on the baseball mixer, if not tonight. And then um, I guess we'll just be preparing for ourselves for a big baseball day on Wednesday. Yeah, I agree, Rex. In spite of in spite of my Dodgers losing today. Um, it has been a it has been a lot of great games. There've been a lot of great games, both in the ALCS and NLCS. Tyler Stevenson for the Red Legs. That's going to go to Joe with the spot that he won. It's Cody Bellinger right there, one seventy six to one ninety nine. Belly going to Carl and the Dodgers. We got Marcus Stroman. Another Cabrian Hayes. And there's Tristan McKenzie with the four dots right there. So Chad saying those are variations. Jason with the tribe. There's Chris Bubich, Royals, Faith with KC. Steve, does Bowman Transcendent come with a presidential auto? Not well. They do have they do have cut autos. Not all of them are presidents, though. Some of them can be. There's Evan White to 250. I feel like there's got to be a checklist out already, right? At this point. So there may be a whole a full list of 
what cut autographs that you can get. Another Dylan Carlson, this time 118 out of 300, parallel. Box. Yeah, hobby wise, we are rolling into what is traditionally a very busy part of the of the year. There'll be a lot of um, there'll just be a lot of new releases, a lot of high end new releases, and um, just a lot more of them. So it'll be a lot of fun. Um, has anyone experienced any out of the ordinary delays with the postal service? Because I know that in October, starting in October, that the postal service were like slowing down some services to certain areas. I think according to the watching post, they had like a map. I think the most affected areas were going to be. I think some parts of Florida and some parts of the Pacific Northwest and the Vegas area for some reason. And for the most part, a lot of first class mail were only going to, the first class mail that was going to get delayed to certain regions of the country, like farther, furthest from wherever you are. So for us to like New York or Boston, um, they, the, the data was saying that it's really only like 25%, which is kind of a lot, I guess, but it was only 25% of, of mail would actually be, de be delayed by X number of days. So it's not that bad. I feel like most people aren't even going to notice it, but some of you may if you're used to like ordering on one day and getting a shipping notification and then expecting it X amount of days after that. But there's Dean Kramer for the O's. That's for Carl who won that spot. In the filler so just keep in mind and as as we and we're gonna remind people a lot more of this as we get every week that goes by as we get closer to the holiday season but when the holiday season rolls around um, it's just it's shipping is gonna get pretty crazy not from our end we're gonna be shipping things out just per our usual schedule but obviously with the higher volume of shipping during the holiday season There's Jacob deGrom to 300. A lot of stuff is going to get um, delayed from that, just from volume. And the first thing that usually goes is tracking usually goes. So a lot of times you're going to realize, oh, uh, the tracking says it's still stuck in, in LA. It's been stuck there for days. But in fact, it's probably already shipped out. They're just not scanning as, uh, as frequently. So that's usually what happens. So just be aware of that. Keep that in the back of your head. 33 out of 99. So tracking will just not be as accurate or as updated, really. 38 out of 99, Nate Pearson, Blue Jays, Joe. And there's Sixto Sanchez to 125 for the fish. Yeah, when's Triple Threads coming out? I think it was scheduled. I think I saw it, but it was, maybe it was delayed a little bit. There's Buster Posey, 23 out of 250 for the Giants. That'll be for Joe. Yeah, I think first class mail prices should be, should be going up, I think. Maybe even priority mail. But... I don't think super significantly. For Dylan Carlson, the variation. Two more boxes to go. I don't think enough to, I mean, shipping will be free at Jasper's domestically.
But yeah, that's a little update on shipping. Just keep that in the back of your head. And, and if you're around in the chat when someone asks about shipping, just especially if it's holiday related or something like that, just, you know, you can politely remind them what's going on in the world. Although I think most people understand. But every other year I feel like there's a person that really just melts down about the shipping. It's like, ah, I've got a $100 card in this box and it's on its way and it doesn't ship. And it's like, I don't get tracking. Well, you guys are lying. And we're like, whoa, 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 relax. We have been doing this for a minute or two. We haven't gotten to where we are. <laughs> lying about her about when we ship stuff or not she always cracks us up but... all right All right, we got Alex Kirloff. Nice rookie auto for the Twins. That'll be for Robert and Minnesota. Ronald Acuna Jr. 217 out of 300. That'll be for the Braves, Michael. Imagine how scary the Braves would be if they still had that guy playing for them. We got Austin Meadows for the Rays. And Anderson Tejada, another Ranger for Travis. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Someone could have pounced on that trade, ended up with a few autographs. Yeah, Rangers too. I know they've, there's some gold Anthony Rendon, 17 out of 50 for the Halos. That's going to go to Michael and the Angels. Um, Rangers have slowly been accumulating and developing young talent. So, you know, they could be on the cusp of, of breaking out. It's Christian Yelich to 250. So we'll see. We'll see if they can do that. All right, final box, boys and girls. Thanks, everyone, again, for making this happen. We filled that filler really quickly, which unlocked this break, which I appreciate greatly. Thank you. Now, I'm looking at my orders right now. No, no orders. I've not seen an order in almost, looks like going on almost an hour. So are we done for the night or do we want to continue? Jaspiescasebreaks.com. So if you want to do some a couple more breaks, we've got at least an hour, maybe more. Things are filling up, but we got at least an hour left in the show. Rex, you've got the Pirates competing in two or three years? Yeah, they've got some pieces too. I mean, there's a lot of teams that have just that feel like, especially since we've been breaking all this, you know, you think about like the last two or three years of Bowman stuff, you know, so you, you have some of these guys that are inching closer and closer to the majors. So ideally, guys we, we were busting open like Bowman Baseball two or three years ago, we should start to see now, soon. And if you're a team, if you've got a team that uh, has kind of had their youngsters develop and growing at the same time, you know, that could be really interesting. There's Shirt and Apostle, another Ranger autograph for Travis. Nice. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Michael likes what the Orioles are doing. 
Yeah, they've got a lot of good youngsters in the minor league system. They've got some high picks. That helps too. Um, they, I feel like they've always, and maybe I'm just, just don't know enough being on the West Coast, but I feel like they don't really, they haven't developed a big like pitching prospect in a while, right? I feel like they, I mean, they can develop, they, we always see guys like Ryan Mountcastle and Mancini and whatnot. If they could develop a little, some, some pitching, some high quality pitching, that could be a huge help. There's Chris Bryant for the Cubs, 250. Yeah, the NL Central could certainly have a, uh, certainly be one of the tougher divisions while the youngsters coming up the ranks. La Colección thinks that the Nats will win the win the World Series next year. All right, that's a that's a hot take. Sam Huff, variation for Travis, and there's Albert Abreu for New York. The Yankees, Joe Locus. I mean, I feel like the Nationals kind of have to. To maybe do a little work in the off season, make some moves, but I guess it's not too crazy. You would need a healthy Steven Strasburg putting in 30 plus starts and 200 innings. Healthy. I like Josiah Gray. That's a top of the rotation guy. Kieber Ruiz, if he has a breakout season, there's Mike Trout again. And with everyday play, he might be. Juan Soto has an MVP season. It's a tough NL East, though. There's Shane Bieber to 99. And Jack Flaherty back here at the end. There you go, boys and girls. Let's do a quick recap. That was 2021 Topps Finest Baseball 8-box random team break number one, where one spot got you two teams. Pretty solid break. Really like what's happening here. Thanks very much, everyone, for getting into this finest. There was the case, and you can see the black and gold in the background. That Mike Trout was really nice. I wonder where that goes where Michael got, got the Angels. You might be surprised because it's Mike Trout. And we got a super fractor, Reggie Jackson. Finest moment, super one of one on card auto for Mr. October. The straw that stirs the drink. I like that. The straw that stirs the drink. He says, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm the straw that stirs the drink at Jaspies. Maybe. Thanks everybody for getting into some fine, finest baseball. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.